Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to show you a new recipe of how I'm sure several of us has been to IHOP and different restaurants that have flavored maple syrup. Well I'm going to show you how to do that same thing at home. Now I picked this time I'm going to make a mixed berry maple syrup. All right you need a package of frozen mixed berries or pick your flavor favorite berry blueberry raspberry strawberries whatnot and you want to make them from make sure it's frozen because in the frozen they have some juice on it and they kind of look like this in our case it's mixed berries okay then you want to take your meat tenderizer and pound it like this Pound it and turn. You're kind of breaking up all the berries. This is going to be a quick and easy recipe. Oh, you also need a wire whisk. So, pound and turn. Break up, you want to break up your berries till kind of, it's kind of a juice. And use a microwave bowl. This is going to be quick and easy. Now if you want to put it in the blender, feel okay to put it in the blender. Could you use the electric mixer for this? Yes, you can use the electric mixer. Just asking. Yeah, you can. It'll break it up. All right. I just didn't feel like getting it out. All right, now you want to take a quarter of a measuring cup measuring cup. Make sure you've got it pretty smooth of sugar. Add it to it. Now we're done with the sugar. And what do I always do? I always put it away. and take your wire whisk and mix it up. Mix it on up. Mix it till it's well mixed. All right, now we're done with the wire whisk. Now, you see what we've got. Now we need a spoon. And what do you need? You need maple syrup. All right. Now this maple syrup is eight ounces and it's approximately halfway done empty. So we're going to put four ounces or half a bottle of maple syrup into the mixture. Now understand this, you're going to have too much of a mix, too much maple syrup to be left. So what you want to do is you want to, well I'll do it off camera later, take off your label and then label it mixed berry maple syrup. Now you want to take your spoon, any spoon it doesn't matter and mix it up. And then you want to take it in the microwave and heat it up. So we're going to have to have a microwave cover but you want to kind of mix it well mixed till it's all mixed up. Oh, and if you don't want to use sugar, feel free to use your favorite sweetener, Splendor or whatever. Those are diabetics. Anybody can do this. And you can also use sugar-free maple syrup, which is what we're going to be going to as soon as we're done used up all the maple syrups we got here. And we're going to be doing Splendor. Okay, now it's time to heat that up. See, it's well mixed. So we need a cover. You can heat it up on the stove. You can heat it up in the microwave. You can heat it up in the ninja. Okay, we're going to put this in the microwave. And I'm going to put it on one minute, then I'm going to check it. Hey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be, um, I'm just going to, I know it's kind of strange, but 
we don't have any pancakes or waffles made up, which we're going to make up. And so to save time with that, we're just going to taste it to make sure it's hot and everything, just for the slight flavor of it. But essentially, you can use this recipe to make any homemade maple syrup you want. You're supposed to be able to get off the label. Oh. They make sprays that can help do that, you know. Well, we just we want to just peel the upper label off so we can label it. Mixed berry maple syrup. Do you take spoons to try to scrape it? One minute is up, so let's check. Make sure you use a microwave safe dish if you're doing it in the microwave. Okay. Okay, this isn't ready yet. We're going to put it in a stirred, so we're going to put it in for another minute. We're just getting it so it's hot. I did it good with the ketchup jar. Well, the ketchup, the ketchup jar was sweating. What the heck? We're just going to put it in, it in this. We'll know what it is. That's too hard to get that label off. Gonna put that in the recycling bin. We're just gonna put it in there to store it. All right, let's see if this is done now. That's two minutes, by the way, people. All right, it's done. It's done. All right. And it smells so good. Mm. Now I'm going to put it in this container here. Now I'm going to taste it. I'm going to let David taste it. You can taste maple syrup. I'm going to just put it in there after. Mm mm. Tastes good enough to eat. David tastes maple syrup. For on top of our pancakes. There we go. Trying to get a kind of at least a reasonable portion there. Works for me. <laughs> yep, so we'd like that on our pancake. So, and, and this must be refrigerated. Pour it into your, see I have a pour spot on this container. Pour it into a container and refrigerate. And you can heat this up for on top of your pancakes, your waffles, your biscuits, whatever you feel like eating. Well, it does have fresh fruit in it, so that's kind of a given that that's refrigerated. So, there you have it. How to make homemade flavored maple syrup. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. We love you. We appreciate all of our viewers and all of our subscribers. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Hug and kisses from my family to yours. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.